To figure out how we might destroy or remove a tumor from inside a person's body, let's first consider what a tumor is. It's an accumulation of abnormal cells that keep growing even though the body doesn't need them. On the left side of this slide, there's an image of a single colon cancer cell. On the right, you can see an accumulation of these cells growing inside the colon. This image was taken during a colonoscopy. To consider how we might get rid of cancer cells in the human body, let's first consider what they are made out of. What are biological cells mostly made out of? Another way to ask this question is, what is the human body mostly made out of? We of course talked about this earlier in the semester. Cells in the body are comprised mostly of water. Our major organs and the cells within them are comprised of roughly 70% water. Earlier in this course, we discussed the effect of electromagnetic fields on water. Specifically, we saw that electric dipoles want to align with any applied electric field. You might also remember that we talked about the invention of the microwave. If the applied electric field varies sinusoidally, the water dipoles want to keep rotating back and forth to align with the applied electric field. And since the water molecules are locked into a matrix, they want to rotate, and which this causes friction and generates heat. Now, in the case of the microwave, we want the electromagnetic waves to heat up our food. But there are situations where we do not want that heating to occur. For example, do biological cells like to be heated? No, of course not. Our bodies want to remain at a fairly constant temperature. If cells are heated too much, they could die. So normally, we would not want to heat up biological cells. But what about for a tumor? We don't even want that in the body. And those cells would actually be good to heat up and destroy. So maybe we can pursue this idea of heating up cancer cells. Take out your in-class project notebooks and spend a minute writing a few notes about how EM fields are expected to interact with the water in biological cells. Also write about how we might take advantage of this physics in order to design a cancer-destroying tool.